as you go through your awakening process, you will have to face your doubt thoughts. There are many sincere Christians that actually believe that the, the Course in Miracles is the work of the devil. Actually, that's just a good example of label and dismiss. <laughs> All you have to do is say, well, the Course is insane, it's going to ruin your life, and I have all the evidence of here's some people whose lives were ruined by it. If I just stopped when I was going to, through my development of trust and, and, and stopped and said it's the work of the devil, that would have been a quick end to my study, but it wouldn't have brought me happiness. <laughs> we have to transcend the devil. <laughs> Who said there was a real devil? You know, Jesus showed us he could transcend, and he said, Greater things than I will you do, he said. He, he knew we would transcend as well. So the main thing is you, you have to be wary of this trick of the ego called label and dismiss. It's always trying to put the blame on something external. Blame the president, blame the politicians, blame the, the pandemic. <laughs> blame the war in, in Ukraine. You see how it's still trying the same tricks right now in 2022 as it was doing back in 1917. <laughs> it was the same thing. It's just called label and dismiss. Oh, we'd all be happier if there was no war here and all the politicians got together and they just held hands like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. <laughs> you see, no, the ego is not going to be singing that song. <laughs> it's 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 a belief, it's a death wish. How can you expect it to know what perfect harmony even means? You see, you must not give in to doubt thoughts. When you read the Course in Miracles, you feel that that's Jesus speaking to you. That's the truth being delivered right to your mind through those words. And Jesus is saying, have faith in me. There will be doubt thoughts that will arise. The ego is unconscious. It will come up. Sometimes you'll feel these doubt thoughts in your mind. Sometimes they will be acted out in other people. But don't be tricked either way. Have the faith because Jesus says, my faith in you is perfect. You still are, are learning to trust and develop trust, but Jesus says, my faith in you is perfect. He's basically saying, I know we're the same one. I know you're the Christ. And he's basically saying, and I know I'm the Christ. There's one of us. <laughs> and God created us. And appearances to the contrary, we still are as God created us. We are not bodies. We are pure spirit. And if you keep following and trusting in me, my f perfect faith in you will, will carry you. In fact, Jesus at one point says, uh, I stand at the door. You're knocking, I stand at the, the door, the gateway. Um, and while I stand at the door, the door can never be shut because I live forever. Whoa! I started crying the first time I read that in the Course. I stand at the door, and as long as I'm at this door, the door can never be shut, and I live forever. Oh, wow! That just came over me. I thought, whoa, what a love! This is a... Jesus has perfect faith in me, even if my faith isn't perfect. Even if I'm just saying yes to be a miracle worker and move in the move in the right direction toward the light, you you can't mess this up because Jesus has perfect faith. That's he knows who we really are. We're all the same Christ. Have faith in the holy instant and and don't crumble when <laughs> when the ego tries to throw you back uh, with uh, fear and with doubt. Don't give in to the fear.